welcome back to Crappy Classics, and in today's video, we're going to be servicing this John Deere lawnmower real quick. As you can see, I have the deck off this machine because I was doing some work to it. And if you want to see what I was doing, you can go watch the other video on the channel where I explained what I was doing. And uh, what happened with this lawnmower is it sat for a number of years, was so not maintained very well. And today, we're just going to do a basic service and clean it out. We're going to open the hood and look underneath the hood of the lawnmower at certain things we need to change. Spark plugs, those need to be done. Need to change the oil. The oil can be checked using the oil dipstick, but we're going to change it, which means we're going to pull this plug down there and let all the oil drain of the engine. Air filter, which is underneath this cover here, which you can access by unscrewing these two little things on this one. Yours might have a screwdriver screw or something else, like one central figure screw like these. Changing the air filter is real basic. You just take the old filter out, dispose of it properly. Take your pre-filter out, dispose of it properly. Then you just put the new stuff in the same way you took the old stuff in. Pre-filter. Then the air filter. Now, in that department, we're all set. We can put the cover right back on. Now with the air filter changed, we're going to move on to changing the oil. Remember when you're changing your oil to properly dispose of the oil you take out of the machine. Now on this machine, it has a simple twist off oil cap. All I have to do is twist, pull, and as you can see the cap comes off and the oil is starting to drain into my drain pan. Now we wait for all the oil to drain into the engine. If you want to speed things up, you can pull the oil dipstick to increase current case ventilation and make the oil drain faster. While we're waiting for the oil to drain, let's focus on changing the spark plugs. To change the spark plug, you have to pull the boot off at first. You put your plug wrench on. And the plug wrench is this thing. Now if you'd bought a tool kit in the past and you looked at this and been like, huh, whatever that is, well that's what that is. That's a plug wrench. I'm just going to use this to remove the spark plug. Duds are quite long on these, so it's going to take a minute to turn to get it out. But once you do, be all set to put in a new plug, which will look just like this. And when you're putting in a new plug, you always want to start it by hand by first, and then you can crank it down once it's a little bit in. you got to get it tight, but not too tight. Whatever that is is different for different people, but there really is a certain range you should have it in at least in my opinion, uh, it's got a crush gasket on it. You've got to crush the gasket, but you don't want to absolutely crank it on there tight. So that'll strip out your head, and then you'll have bigger problems. This is repeated on the other side of the machine. And as a side note, don't forget to put your plug lead back on. If you do, it won't have spark, and it won't run. There's one more thing we have to remove to complete the oil change. This is the oil filter. Now to remove this, you have to unscrew it this way. Now, those are supposed to be on hand tight. When you put it on, remember to put it on hand tight. But, somebody has probably cranked this one on. Remember to put an oil pan under the frame of the mower when you do this, because there's an extremely high likelihood of there being quite a lot of oil in that filter. So, it's going to drip everywhere. When they're absolutely stuck on like this, there's a couple things you can do. One of my best methods for it is just to stick a screwdriver through it and turn. You can usually just jam a screwdriver through an oil filter. But on this one, proving to be quite difficult. It's the thickest oil filter I've ever seen. So I used a punch to punch a hole in it, and now I can get my screwdriver out. I got that filter off, ended up resorting to the water pump pliers of desperation to get that thing off, because it was on there. It's the strongest I've ever felt one of them on one of these mowers. Like, that was pretty good. Anyways, now we're going to put the new filter on. Here's the new filter. Now, before I put this on, I'm going to stick my finger in some of this old oil. I'm just going to wipe it around the seal of this. I need a little bit more. See? That's going to make sure this seal actually makes a good seal. And when you put this on, you just want to screw it on, tighten it down with your hand, not with a wrench, with your hand. Get it hand tight. 
and now that's on. Now we're going to put the oil cap back on. Looks like I said on your mower, might be a screw on one. If it is, you're going to need a wrench to take that off. But no. Now we're going to put some new oil on the engine. What I have here is John Deere Tough Guard 1030. Because that's what came in the kit for this one. And we're just going to fill the engine with this oil. Now if you, if you pour it like this, it's going to glug. Turn it over like that, it'll come out nice and smooth, and that's what you want. Once we get one quart down, I'm going to start on the second one. You want to be careful with that, because, see, the engine might not take this entire quart. Now I'm going to turn the engine over to get oil circulated into the filter. Before I'm going to do that, though, I'm going to put the oil dip dipstick back in. There we go. Engine turned over. Now we're going to check the oil on the dipstick. Add a little more. That's the add mark. That's the full mark. Now, when you're running a mower, if it's at that add mark, you fill it until it hits the full mark. And once it's at the full mark, it's good. It can also be in this little checkered range between the add and the fill mark. Another thing we're going to change on this machine is this fuel filter. To do that, you simply pull the clamps off. There should be one on this side, but someone installed one of these screw-off clamps instead, for unknown reasons. And then you pull the fuel line off. Now you will spill a little bit of fuel when you're doing this. That's why you have your oil drain pan under it, unlike I do. That's why you have an oil drain pan under it when you're doing this. Now this old fuel filter is really cruddy, see? And this is the new John Deere official fuel filter that came in that kit. I'm back in place, and we're done with the service of the engine. I hope this video was helpful in some way to somebody. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.